What's up guys, I'm Dragon Mill, and today I'm bringing you another review and I'm gonna talk to you about the Asus RG Gladius today. Really good, I have it for many months now and it just keeps on getting better and better. So, let's watch the video! Hey guys, I'm Dragon Mill, and today I'm going to show you my user experience and review of the Asus RG Gladius. This is the Gladius. The price is about $75, give or take, depending on where you live. The mouse is placed in high tier category, in my opinion. 64 DPI optical sensor, 2000 hatch pulling rate, it weights 116 grams. The build quality is amazing. The top surface is made out of premium plastic material, which ensures comfortable use. The ergonomics of this mouse is ensured to fit all grip types. There's no customizable weights to switch around with. I'm not complaining though, it did suit me very very well. The rubber grips on both the left and the right side ensured a perfect grip. The curvature on the right side ensured both my ring and pinky finger to have constant support. The slight curve on the left side is perfect for me since I'm a palm grip user. Even when in the most hectic and stressful gaming sessions, when you might get a little bit sweaty, the grip is still there, which is great. Inside the box you'll get various things. The Gladius, a carrying pouch, ROG stickers, extra Teflon feet, a set of extra Omron switches, the manual, and two cables. First off, I think the carrying pouch is awesome. It makes it more portable and also works as protection. Extra Teflon feet is very needed when changing the arm round switches, since the already deployed Teflon feet will not be usable again. The arm round switches are amazing. It will increase the lifespan of this mouse by a ton. Really a super great addition and I hope upcoming mice will have this feature as well. A long braided cable and a shorter plain rubber cable makes the Gladius even more portable. I measured the braided cable to approximately 210 centimeters and the rubber cable to about 110. The thought is to have one plugged into your desktop and the other one ready for the next LAN party with your laptop. Nice! Equipped with a 6400 DPI optical sensor, the Gladius suits any gamer's needs. I had no issues with tracking and I've used this mouse for different genres of games. FPS, MOBA, MMORPG and strategy games. I experienced my aim to be responsive, small, such as big movements and even flicks has been very responsive. I even used it while editing this video and it was responsive enough despite me being rather picky. Do notice, while using a white surface, the tracking is almost non-existent. And using a glass surface is jittery and not reliable enough, even though there's an option for it in the software. That is at least my opinion. There are six programmable buttons on the Gladius. The arm and switches on the left and right buttons are light with great tactile response. The DPI shift button enables instant switching between two sensitivity levels and is easy to reach. The two side buttons are nicely placed to quick access by your thumb. They are easy to click, all good here. The scroll wheel is extremely comfortable and the scroll steps is so accurate it did not require a lot of force to press and it gives a good bounce back. There are two LED zones, the scroll wheel and the ROG logo in the back. There is also illumination behind a DPI switch button. Unfortunately you cannot customize the color. The default color is red, which is a common color for ROG products. ROG Armory. The layout is gorgeous and concrete. Welcomed by four different tabs for each setting and the option to add profiles on your PC. The buttons tab shows all the eight clickable buttons and a physical overview of the Gladius. The performance tab lets you change the two sensitivity options, plus adjusting the acceleration and deceleration. It also lets you modify angle snapping, but I do recommend you leaving this untouched. The option to change polling rate is also here, which is a nice addition. The lighting tab is very straightforward, it lets you change the lighting effects to either steady or breathing illumination, as well as having the illumination turned on or off. The calibration tab lets you choose whether you want to manually calibrate the surface beneath the Gladius or choose any of the presets which are preloaded onto the software. 
This is essential to do with any mouse and any surface for the best user experience. And finally, the Macro Manager is built in and easy to use. Now we reach the conclusion time. The RG Gladius is well built, it's very ergonomic and has really good tracking. The easy access quick DPI change button is really great. The accessories, especially the dual cables are amazing. The exchangeable arm run switches is the highlight of this mouse. It makes the lifespan of this mouse really long and I really like it. The software is straightforward and clean. The cons of this mouse is first off the process of replacing the switches. Second thing is I would love to have an option to choose a color for the illuminations. The third and last con is that it has poor glass tracking. So that was the video of the RG Gladius. A really good gaming mouse, I really like it. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys soon. Dragon signing out, bye.